everyone and hello to all the pageant fans all over the world and the universe rather and to my old subscribers to my new subscribers and returning viewers welcome back to my youtube channel before i start with today's episode allow me to say thank you so much to everyone for continuous love and support i really really appreciate you guys and if you're watching this episode right now and you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for help me to grow this channel and to reach another milestone here in youtube simply by clicking the subscribe button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In today's episode here in my channel is meant solely for Asian delegates competing in Miss Universe 2022 competition. In today's video, I'll do my very best to give you guys an informative and interesting insight about these countries and their respective delegates competing in Miss Universe 2022 beauty pageant. So without further ado, let's start this episode now. Let's start with Cambodia. Accept it or not, this country has a poor track record in Miss Universe. But with her current representative, Manita Han, chances and high hopes are always there. Because this stunning beauty from Cambodia is fluent in Cambodian, French, and English. And let's also admit the fact that she really gave a stellar performance during her national competition. And when it comes to her community capability, it's no longer a conversation. It is pretty obvious that Manita Han can actually speak with confidence and full of clarity. Her passerella and stage presence as well during her national competition is very impressive or it's very commendable. But when it comes to her beauty, it's not that consistent for me. Cambodia has always been incredible when it comes to their national costume. And with Cambodia's current representative, Manita Han, she's definitely an upgrade compared to their previous delegates who already competed in Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. Next is Indonesia. Indonesia as a country somehow already established their sash factor in Miss Universe. And to be fair with this country, just like Cambodia, they're also very good when it comes to their national costume. And when it comes to the preparation, when it comes to styling, wardrobe, they're very good at it. They want to make sure that their delegate will have a proper representation when they compete in Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. That hunger, that expectation, and that excitement to win their first Miss Universe is always high whenever it's Miss Universe season. I have to say that Frederica Cull was the best representative of this country has ever been sent in Miss Universe Beauty Pageant as she placed as part of the top 10 semi-finalists. What I like about her current representative, Lakshmi Swardana, is definitely her good communication skills plus her spontaneity. Yes, um, so I would like to ask you, how do you maintain your mental health and public presence after going through cyberbullying? How I maintain my mental health and public presence is again with my M's, but I think I want to mention a little bit more about talking to people who can really help you, whether it's your family or a life coach or a friend. I think it's really important to connect, have a real human connection and get out of social media when you need to. Just go back and ground yourself. I think that's so important for me. I would like to say to maybe the Indonesian pageant lovers or audience that, you know, we should come together and show what we're all about. We have this motto in Indonesia, unity in diversity. So we are also a, known to be a very tolerant country. So let's show that on social media, because I know for a fact that when you come to Indonesia, you can feel the kindness and the respect and the tolerance here. So let's show that, re let's reflect that online as well. That's what I want to say and continue to spread love and kindness in social media, as well as before you write something online, think about it. I really believe in the power of words, the power that it could bring to a person but also how it can let that person down. Because once you post something online, it will stay forever online and in that person's mind. So before you do anything, post anything, think again and be respectful online. That's all I can say to 
the Indonesian pageant lovers, and everyone watching tonight. We cannot deny the fact that this representative from Indonesia really displayed a very good communication skills during the YouTube live chat with Paula Sugar. Her fluency in English can definitely be her strength in this first competition, especially during the closed door interview. What I like about Indonesia is that they're fighting spirit in winning their first Miss Universe crown. But my piece of advice to last Miss Wardana is to really evaluate her overall caliber as a candidate in the upcoming Miss Universe competition. Next is Philippines, the real pageant powerhouse in Asia. Philippines has remained consistent placing in the semifinals for the past 12 years. And because of that, this country already built their credibility and their sash factor in Miss Universe. Philippines representative in this race competition has a strong chance in winning its fifth Miss Universe crown. It's pretty evident that Celeste Cortesi is her real front runner in this year's competition. She's also a Miss Universe prototype. She knows how to create an impact with her pageant walk. And lastly, her beauty is expensive. And aside from that, let's watch this video clip. Being crowned and what you've, you have, uh, what you've experienced um, online from the fan base. And, and Celeste, why don't we start with you? And, uh, sure. Uh, thank you so much, first of all, for having us in this live, and hello to everybody. Um, my experience after I won, um, I received a lot of love, but at the same time, I also received a lot of bashing. I had people calling me many names. I also had people even editing my own photos just to make me look bad, to the point that I also had bashers. Um, trying to bash my family, my mom, my sister, my mother, uh, sorry, my dad. And I think it really got to a point that it's just too much, especially when they don't just touch you, but they also touch your family. So I think people really have to realize that there is a line that should never be crossed. Um, I always tell everyone to spread more love than hate. To always be mindful of the things you say because you never know how much words can hurt a person. And I'm telling you this because I am strong enough to handle it. But just imagine young women or young men that are going through cyberbullying. In the worst case, it ends up with, with suicide. And that's the worst case. So you never know what the person is going through. You never know what the person... Um, has been going through in the whole life. So you really have to be careful with the things you say. You really have to be mindful. And to my fans, if they really want to support me and they really love me, don't bash the other candidates, really, because it won't make me win. It won't make me look better than the others. So I hope they, they will understand that. And I really hope they will uh, share more kindness and love. After sharing with you guys that short video, I can definitely say that this year's representative from the Philippines is very relatable. She's also spontaneous and full of confidence. And lastly, she speaks directly from her heart. Next is Thailand. The newly crowned Miss Universe Thailand 2022 is definitely an upgrade compared to their last year's representative and Chile when it comes to physical aspects. Thailand has always been on top when it comes to production and stage design, social media presence, and even when it comes to their preparation with their delegates before flying, competing in Miss Universe beauty pageant. With a recent concluded Miss Universe Thailand 2022, this is just my personal opinion regarding this matter. For me, Thailand never learned their lesson in picking the right representative to compete in Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. After watching the top five and the top three Q&A, I have to say that Nicolin or MUT16 is the right delegate to compete in Miss Universe. I totally understand that maybe the winner of MUT2022 outperformed Nicolin or MUT16 when it comes to her passerelle aura projection. But then again, what I'm trying to say is that MUT16 is a pageant veteran. She's very articulate and she speaks with conviction. 
I may not have the idea on how concrete was the answer of the winner, but the fact that she did not speak in English somehow gave me that impression that she's not comfortable in speaking in English, and it might create a dilemma when it comes to the closed door interview in Miss Universe. As we all know, the closed door interview has a huge impact when it comes to determining who will be part of the semi-finals aside from the swimsuit competition and the evening gown competition. Current representative of Thailand in Miss Universe 2022 has that face value. Her passerella aura projection and her stage presence was very impressive and remarkable. It was indeed a performance that should be seen in Miss Universe stage. Next is Vietnam. Vietnam is definitely a fighting country in Miss Universe. What I like about Vietnam is that they are very consistent as well in placing in the semi-finals for the past couple of years in Miss Universe competition. Vietnam for me has a very good reputation when it comes to putting so much effort when it comes to their national costume, wardrobe, and styling. And that is something that is very admirable about this country. Vietnam's current representative, Wen Chao, is a former Miss Supranational Asia 2019. I can definitely say that her experience competing in Miss Supranational 2019 can be her edge at some point. She may have that face value, she may have that stage presence, but she really needs to focus more on how she can actually improve her speaking ability or her communication skills because it's pretty evident that she lacks of spontaneity and lacks of clarity whenever she speaks. And that can be a hindrance for her at some point, especially during the closed door interview. But overall, it's really how she can make a difference, how she can stand out amongst other delegates in Miss Universe Beauty pageant. With this five Asian countries competing in Miss Universe 2022, I have to say that the Philippines has a strong candidate in this year's competition. The Philippines for me reigns supreme and still the country to beat in this year's competition. So that'll be all for today's episode here in my channel. Let me know what you think about this episode by putting a comment down below. I just want to say thank you so much guys for your continuous love and support. For my additional subscribers, maraming maraming salamat sa trust. To my old subscribers, returning viewers, thank you as well for staying with me. Maraming maraming salamat po from the bottom of my heart. And always remember to stay kind because you can never go wrong with kindness. I love you all.